Magnets, really powerful magnets today, and we're learning about magnetism. I have a magnet here glued to a piece of fishing line, okay? Okay, magnet glued to a piece of fishing line on a chemistry stand. That's for later. Right now we're going to learn what magnets stick to. Magnets stick to... They're attracted mainly to ferrous metals, like steel. This is a steel spoon. This is a powerful magnet. It's kind of dangerous because it could hurt you. And it's hard to get off of there. So that's steel. Is it attracted to plastic? No, of course it's not. No, of course not, right? And is this steel? Is it attracted to this? Yes, it is. Okay. A drill bit. Okay. All right. You want to try it? I want to try the lock. All right, go ahead. Don't hurt yourself. Don't put your fingers between the magnet and the lock. Wow. It's really powerful, isn't it? <coughs> okay, yeah, give it to me. Don't touch anything. All right. So let's test some other things. What about, we already tried this kind of plastic. What about this PVC? The magnet is not at all attracted to the PVC plastic. Magnets obviously not attracted to paper. This is a cardboard tube with wrapping paper on it. Okay. What about copper? This is a copper tube. Do you think that the magnet's attracted to this? Maybe. Maybe? Let's check. I don't think so. I don't think so. Copper is not magnetic. What about aluminum? This is a large tube of aluminum foil. Do you think that's attracted to the magnet? No. No, right? And aluminum. Aluminum is dangerous? Mm -hmm. This is heavy. If you hit someone with it, yeah, it would be dangerous. And also, bare aluminum against our food is a little bit toxic. But, but what if I told you that these things that are aluminum and copper... I'll tell you what, let's do an experiment, okay? What if I just drop this magnet? If I just drop this magnet, it falls just like any other thing because there's no magnetic fields nearby, right? Look at this one. Okay? Oh my God, that's loud. Derek, mm -hmm. what? That's it just falls like any other object because there's no magnetic field here, right? Mm -hmm. What if I drop it through this tube? What'll happen? If I drop it through here, it just falls, right? Warm because I've been holding it. Now, what about paper? Okay? paper it just falls clean on through right are you watching now what's it going to do here where did it go what i want to try where did it go marie it's taking too long <laughs> i want to try i have to try wait first afterward you can try it but first no, 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 let's no. do this right now what about this one? Where did it go? Where's the magnet? <laughs> what happened? It's crazy, it's, isn't it? I think it's what, if I spin it? what if I spin it as I drop it? Where is that magnet? Oh my god! Is that cool? I have to try right now. Alright, let's let Derek try it right now. Come no, here. I'm You'll try yeah, after Derek. Which, Here. Which one? Uh, can I try Here. both? Yeah. Here, drop it through the aluminum tube. Okay. Now, there's a paper tube inside here, but essentially, there's a large mass of elemental aluminum. It's not elemental. It has a tiny fraction of other metals, okay. but essentially, this is a large tube of, and it's not magnetic. So, go ahead and drop it through there. I'm going to look inside, too. Yeah, you look inside there. It's just like levitating in there, right? Okay, I'll we need to get a shot of that. I'm trying to yeah. them. The copper. But you're not going to be able to look through there. Oh, I see that. And it's levitating, all right. Try it again. You do know it's not levitating. Yeah, it's levitating. I can feel it. 
Let's see if we can get a video of it going through the aluminum here. Okay, here we go. Ready? I'm just going to do a bunch of times in a bunch of different positions. Can you come up a little bit? Up, up, up. Okay. Marie, do you want to try it? Mm -hmm. Here, drop the magnet through. Where'd it go? There it is. Drop it again. Now let Derek do it again. All right, let's... It's amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? I have... There's no magnetism. No. It's legit. Do it again. It's legit. I'm it's gonna legit. Have, I'm going to have it land in my hand. Feel it. Okay. Oh my cool. god, can I, wait, where did I put my finger in there? Go ahead, can try I, it. Oh my god, I kind of felt it levitate a little bit, and it's getting warm. Yeah, it's warm because we're holding it. Actually, it could be warming up from passing through, I'm not sure about that, but. Where did it go? There it is, drop it in. Don't block with your hand. Go ahead, drop it in again. Take your hand away. Ah. Ta -da. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Okay, now we're going to do another experiment. So we found that the steel was magnetic and that the aluminum and the copper were paramagnetic and that the plastic PVC and the plastic fork that you really took did a job on, the steel lock was also magnetic. And this the one. aluminum and the copper are paramagnetic. The paper and the PVC were not magnetic at all, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So what do they have in common? Let's see if, this, if the magnetic and the paramagnetic things, let's see if they conduct electricity, right? So I have my ohm meter set to beep if it conducts electricity okay mm -hmm. ready what? so the spoon conducts electricity and it's magnetic we have a spoon that conducts the... electricity I should be a magnet. you should okay the lock is made of steel and it conducts electricity it's and it's magnetic sit down there the paper does not conduct electricity yeah and it wasn't magnetic. The PVC doesn't conduct electricity. Are you looking, Derek? Mm -hmm. It doesn't conduct electricity. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't magnetic at all. The copper, does copper conduct electricity? You're not sure? Mm -hmm. What do you think's in these wires? And in those wires in our copper. ceiling? Copper. Mm. No, it's orange. Does that conduct electricity? Yeah. Derek. What? Does that conduct electricity? Mm -mm. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the aluminum? Will that conduct electricity? I think so. No, nope. I knew it. Okay, so the magnetic items and the paramagnetic items conducted electricity, mm -hmm. but the non-magnetic items didn't conduct mm -hmm. any electricity, right? Mm -hmm. So, do you want me to explain why the magnet had a difficult time passing through these paramagnetic metals. What I'm going to do now, this magnet is relatively still here, okay? Now, if I were to wave a steel item underneath it, I could easily make it move, but we already know that why it's moving because the magnet's attracted to steel, okay? There's a mutual attraction, okay? But we know that the magnet doesn't get attracted to copper, right? It's not attracted to copper. Only if I touch it will it move, okay? But what if I go like this? Are you ready? Watch this. Now I have the camera here so you can see in detail that it is not, I'm going to try not to touch it. Watch this. It's starting to move. Do you see that? And hopefully the camera's picking up that I'm not touching it at all. We'll watch it in slow motion. 
Okay? Now, another thing I want to show you is this. If I swing this magnet, see how it swings back and forth? Yeah. Can like a stop? pendulum. Can you stop it? Of course I can stop it with uh, my no, hand. No, no, with the magnet. You could stop it with a piece of steel. Watch this. See how the steel interferes with it? Okay? But we already established uh, We already established that copper is not magnetic, right? So watch this. But watch, Derek. Watch. Oh, it slows it down. It slows it down. So something's happening between copper and a magnet when the magnet is moving. Let me get a towel. Let me try and get it closer. That's too close. Oh, that's real close but not touching. Watch this. You ready? You see yeah. that? Isn't that cool? Yeah. But it's not touching. Let me try. Here. Go ahead. You have to do it right to the copper, right aligned with the copper. You can't do it from side to side. Go ahead. Hmm? Let it go. See okay. that? Now if you line it up just perfectly, wow. it's pretty amazing, okay. isn't it? Uh -huh. Can I do this? Let's see that again. Ready? If I line it up using my fingers as a guide, see that? Mm -hmm. It's not touching it. Pull magic. Here, help me film it from a different angle. I can do it. Watch. Ready? I wonder if... Look at that. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. And again, the only thing there is the... That's how it is without the copper pipe there. Now let's put the copper pipe under it again. Okay? Alright, now... Pretty cool, huh? Uh -huh. Here's the explanation. So when um, when you pass metals, even paramagnetic metals like copper or aluminum through a magnetic field, uh -huh. and you move them through a magnetic field, or you move the magnetic field across the metal, uh -huh. what happens? Um, it stops. Well, it stops. The reason is because it generates, it induces an electric charge. It induces electricity, an electrical current. Mm -hmm. So as this thing is dropping through this metal, this copper tube, it's inducing an electric charge, and that charge has a cost mm -hmm. as far as conservation of energy. That energy that moves those electrons has to come from someplace, and it comes from the kinetic energy, that means the movement energy of the magnet in this mm -hmm. case. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So what's happening is that certain things that are metal but they're not magnetic, it generate it induces an electrical field when the magnetic field changes. But when the magnetic field is static like this, see, when the magnetic field isn't moving, then there's no magnetism. Mm -hmm. But when the magnetic field is moving as we just demonstrated with the swinging magnet, it induces an electric charge mm -hmm. and that induction slows down the kinetic motion of the magnet or the metal. You understand? Okay. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to do another experiment. You ready for this? Mm -hmm. Okay. What we're going to do is you're going to take observations. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, exactly. Dun, dun, dun. You ready? Let me... Okay, these are really powerful magnets. I don't. <laughs> More like I, well, I wish it was Catter Day. Okay, take two. <laughs>